What does it mean to furrow your brows? Whenever I find myself deep in thought, which is typical on a drizzly Portland afternoon, I realize my eyebrows tend to furrow. It's an unconscious act, yet it communicates much more than internal brooding. To furrow your brows simply means to draw your eyebrows together in a frown, typically creating a deep wrinkle in the forehead in the process. It's a universal sign language, speaking volumes without uttering a word. You might furrow your brows when you're concentrating hard on that complicated IKEA assembly manual, or when someone tells you they've never heard of The Goonies, which was famously shot here in Oregon, by the way. The act itself is like a knee-jerk reaction to confusion, skepticism, or outright disbelief. It does the talking for us when words fail, or when we're just not ready to use them yet. But it's not just for negative emotions. It could signal that you're intensely interested in something. Maybe you're at Powell's City of Books, lost in the labyrinth of shelves, and a rare first edition catches your eye. Eyebrows dive together, intrigued. Or it could be a silent player in a chess game, telegraphing serious strategizing as you ponder whether to move your knight to that risky but potentially game-winning square. In the broad spectrum of body language, to furrow your brows is perhaps the string section, capable of delicate nuances but also powerful crescendos of emotion. So, the next time you catch yourself or someone else with that furrowed look, take a beat. It's more than a mere facial expression. It's a silent signal that's worth a thousand words, a universal emblem of the pondering human spirit. And sometimes, just sometimes, it's the prelude to an epiphany or two.